Hey. You might be wondering why my hair is wet. It's because I just got out of the shower and decided to show you my tattoos. Here we go. Alright. So this one over here, it's a bird flying out of a cage. It's the first tattoo that I got. Um, I felt at the point in my life that I got this <laughs> that I was breaking away from a lot of things. I was about to move out of my parents house for the first time. Um, I was moving to a new city. Not only was I moving out of my parents house, but I was moving to another city. I was 18. Um, I was dropping out of college. I thought that I knew what I was doing, but I was fucking stupid. Seriously, like, I could have lived with my parents for another year or two and not had to struggle. But, I mean, it's not all bad. Like, I learned a lot, and I'm definitely ahead of the game as far as responsibility. Like, I've had to do some things, some adult things that most people who are my age don't, haven't experienced yet. So, I'm prepared for the real world, bitches, whatever. Anyway. Second tattoo I got, which I'm actually not going to show you because it's on my ankle. It's going to be real hard to, like, make it visible anyway. And I haven't shaved my legs, even though I just got out of the shower. I was really lazy and I didn't want to shave my legs, so deal with it. <laughs> anyway, um, it's an anchor. Um, it's one of my favorite tattoos just because um, Sean Spring, who is my favorite person in the whole wide world, gave me this tattoo with a sewing needle stuck in the end of a pencil wrapped in thread dipped in india ink there's a stick and poke as we call it um and in the exact same spot i gave him a jolly rogers so that we could match and they both look awesome um after that i got another stick and poke um it's right here it's a it looks like it's sideways on my arm, but if I don't have my arm tilted like this, it's actually, it's not sideways. It's really weird. From looking at my perspective, it looks straight, but then when I turn it to you, it looks sideways. I don't know. Anyway, it's a bow. Um, people are constantly asking me if it's a dog bone. It's not a dog bone. It's a bow. Okay, it's obvious that it's a bow, I think. Like, it's a bow. Anyway. Um, that was given to me by my friend Duran. Another stick and poke. Um, we were all hanging out. And we just decided to give each other tattoos. So, I tried to give him a couple tattoos and he started crying. And so my boyfriend took over because I just could, I couldn't do it. Once he started, once the tears, tears started coming, I was like, oh, I can't do this. Um, next tattoo is over here. I'm gonna have to get invasive here. <laughs> or you're gonna have to get invasive. Um, this is my most recent tattoo. Um, it's two joints crossed because I really love marijuana. Um, also, it's a um, <sighs> it's a matching tattoo with uh, my boyfriend and our old roommate. Um, and when I say roommate, I don't mean that we lived in the same house together. We did, but it was more than that. We lived in a fort in the living room of a house together. Three people, one mattress inside of a fort. Yeah. Um, actually, if anybody wants to add me on Facebook, there are pictures of the fort on Facebook. You know, you can totally check it out. Whatever. Anyway, and my final tattoo. I don't know why. I should have did this one last because it was the most recent one, but whatever. Um, this one is uh, it's a palm with the main lines, the heart line, headline, and lifeline. Um, people see that and they're automatically like, oh, can you read my palm? I can't actually read your palm. Um, I know a little bit, but not enough to give you a good reading. Um, the reason I got this, apart from the fact that this is a uh, image that I took off of a journal, I altered it a little bit, but I took it off of a journal that I had um, that I carried around with me everywhere. 
Um, it's just, I have been interested in the occult f since I was pretty much born. Um, my mom has always um, had an interest in those things as well, so I kind of grew up around it. She always kept like a bunch of astrology books and uh, things like that. Um, I've had roommates that read tarot and stuff like that, and I've always found it fascinating. So I, I got this tattoo not only because it was a really cool image, but because it represents my fascination with the occult. Um, you know, like I said, I've, I've been interested in it since I was a baby, so... <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, let's see, this, this is almost six minutes long, so I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna dry my hair. See ya. <laughs>